my main role is to design anything in the mechanical side at Heap and Partners. So we'll see, typically we see a, a request for a design coming in from the sales office. It's my responsibility to convert that into a finished product. We're primarily designing valves for the oil and gas industry, so we'll, these are highly safety critical components that we're designing. So from a technical aspect, they have to be correct. We have to be fit for, fit for purpose. There's a number of um, international standards that we have to comply with. Typically you, you'll be working on a, a project for a number of weeks, so you get to plan your project for, the, for those weeks. There's obviously a day-to-day -day requirement that you have to manage on the shop floor, scheduling of jobs, and there's also uh, problem solving. Not every, every job goes smoothly, so it's your job to find a solution when that problem occurs. It's definitely a maths orientated subject, so you need to have good, uh, you need to be proficient in maths. Um, but also, you, you've got your own creative flair, that, that, which, is, which is, as you see fit, you can come up with that design. I took a traditional route to, for my education, so I hit O levels, A levels, and then a degree. At the time I was doing a degree, I was interested in cycling, so I took up a role in a bicycle manufacturing factory as the product development manager. As it's happened, I've now a sort of more exciting role, which is why I've ended up here at Heap and Park. The personal set of skills, you, you need to be creative, you need to be flexible, and enjoy doing the job. You've got to enjoy creating new products and satisfying the customer. very uh, computer orientated. The work is done using, we'll be using Excel spreadsheets for the calculations, MathCAD, AutoCAD for providing drawings, but the more modern side of our facility as we've progressed we've moved to a 3D package which gives us much more flexibility, uh, it gives us the more analysis tools and it's certainly the way that modern industry is, is, has moved. Yeah, it's a it's a 3D environment which we live in, and so it's a 3D environment which we design it. The, the beauty of the job is that not only are we in the design office on a day-to-day -day basis, we spend a lot of time on the shop floor. We'll be overseeing the actual fabrication of the product, so it's it's very much a multi-disciplined role. It's a very interesting role. Engineering is uh, in short supply at the moment. It's, there's, a, there's a big demand for engineering. Uh, you can basically choose the, uh, in, the industry that you want to work in. Mechanical engineering influences so many aspects of, uh, of not just in factories, it's in places where you wouldn't expect there's very little that doesn't involve an engineer. And so consequently, you've got a, you've got a good choice uh, to do a career and even switch careers if you so wish. Uh, no two days are the same, so it's a very mix for a very exciting life. There is a shortage of engineering skills in and around the Merseyside area, but the advantage of that is as, a, as an engineer, there's lots of opportunities. The perception is that manufacturing is dying in the UK, but in actual fact, that's not, not the case at all. Uh, in Merseyside area alone, there's, manufacturing hasn't declined, it's actually increased. Uh, the government has recognised that manufacturing is actually the wealth creator and they need to do as much as possible to encourage manufacturing and we're certainly seeing the benefits of that here in Merseyside. <laughs>